Hello everybody, this is Jane from GlassReimagined.com and I'm going to do a quick tutorial today on using alcohol inks on a garage sale glass vase that I bought. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I probably paid under a dollar for the vase. And getting right to the tutorial, the first thing you want to do is make sure your vase is really, really nice and clean inside and out. And then I'm going to take rubbing alcohol. And this is 91% alcohol. And I just put it on a paper towel. And if you get the cheap paper towels, those are the best. They seem to leave the least amount of lint. And even though I've already cleaned this base, I'm going to wipe it down real quick with the rubbing alcohol just to make sure. You don't want to touch the outside of the base any more than you have to. The inside is fine. But touching it with your fingers on the outside, you're probably going to leave oil from your fingertips. So, make sure it's nice and clean, no price sticker residue on there or anything like that. And that dries really, really fast. And then also, before we get started, um, I don't like to wear gloves because it's harder for me to handle the bases and the jars and bottles. But I do use this silicone glove by Avon Care, and that works really well because your hands are going to be full of ink. And it just seems to make it a little bit easier to get the ink off. The ink can be removed with alcohol, rubbing alcohol, but it never comes completely off your fingers, even with the alcohol. It still gets down in the crevices around your fingernails and that type of thing. So if you want to wear a pair of latex gloves, to keep your hands clean, that's fine. And also, um, during this tutorial, I'm going to be using a small uh, air compressor with an air hose. Now, you can use a can of spray air, or you could even blow the ink around on the vase with just a straw in your own breath. I prefer the air hose because it's quicker, and I can do a lot more designing with that but that's entirely up to you it can be done one of three ways but anyway i like to use this avon care silicone glove on my hands and let that dry really well before you ever get started it takes a little bit to dry okay i also keep a small glass of alcohol sitting right here beside me i have q-tips paper towels and i have a tray that i can turn my vase on just an old metal tray or if you want to get one of those little turntables those are perfect also and then what I do is I make sure I get the inks that I want to use and I have those open and ready I just leave the cap sitting right on top of them because these will dry out they're alcohol based and the inks that I use are from Adirondack Let me just show you these right here and I get them at Michael's, uh, you can get them at Hobby Lobby, you can get them um, at Joann's Fabric, you can order them online at Amazon, in fact there will be a link on my website where you can order these. And they come in packages of three and they run about $10 for three of them, but they actually last quite a while. So <clears throat> Today we're going to be using their Marine set, it's called Marine, and that includes the Indigo and the Mermaid and then I also used one from a different set it was called Wild Plum so those are the three that I'm going to be using today on this base alright so once your base is nice and clean um, you got your inks all ready to go we're ready to get started so please bear with me you're gonna hear my air compressor in the background and hopefully it won't be too loud 